Jared Nieder remembers the exact moment his life changed forever. December 18th, 2011, on vacation with his family in Mexico. It was the first day of the trip and I went running down the beach to dive into the ocean and dove right into a sandbar. The damage to his spinal cord was done. The doctors told my family that I would never feed myself and, you know, kind of just prepare for this to be the rest of my life. Jared refused to accept that. He and his mom began searching for cutting edge rehabilitation. Everybody take a deep breath. At the Kentucky Spinal Cord Injury Research Center, scientists use programmed electrical stimulation to help patients stand and control their core. Jared is one of 30 patients with a stimulator inside his body. The electrode is a 16 electrode array, so it contains 16 contacts, and it is implanted in what's called the lumbar sacral spinal cord. I'm all ready. Let's do it. We're going to do it. Okay, so down. Okay, and Oh yeah, that is working, isn't it? Oh yeah. It was that determination and positivity that caught Hannah Alcock's eye. My friend told me that a guy named Jared, who was in a wheelchair, um, was very social but never got out of his apartment and just needed some help on Saturdays. And I was like, well, I think I can do that. It didn't take long before Saturdays became special for both. I thought it turned into something else before Hannah realized it turned <laughs> right. into something else. Jared proposed Hannah said yes. There we go. Hannah was also an inspiration for Jared. He watched her compete in the New York City Marathon, so Jared began to train for the 26.2 mile race. I found my guy. On November 6th, Jared took off. Despite crashing his hand cycle at mile 13, Jared finished with his bike stuck in first gear. Jared and Hannah had one more milestone to reach. Hannah suggested they marry on the 10-year anniversary of Jared's accident. It's a day that a lot got taken from me, and to have Hannah come into my life and help me take charge of that, it just, it means a lot to me. Jared worked for months in the lab to surprise his family and friends. We're having a traditional Korean part of the ceremony, and that is where I'm supposed to bow to her parents. On December 18th, the man who doctors predicted would never use his arms or legs bowed all the way down three times with support from his lab assistants. He vows he's not done yet. The list of things that I'm able to do gets longer and the things I'm not able to do get shorter. I'm Marty Salt reporting.